Marty. RC four wheel drive TF2 long wheelbase 1987 Toyota. Um, got this RTR, I've been wanting to do some modifications on it. And one of the things that I did is I changed out the transmission uh, to the R3 two speed. It comes stock with single speed transmission. Um, I like my gearing, I like to go fast, I like to go slow and I like to have that option. So I decided to put this transmission into it, um, upgraded the servo, steering servo, and I took the stock RC four wheel drive that comes with it. They call it the Twister. Uh, and um, right now it's just bench mounted. I've loosened up some things, but uh, I didn't like the bulk of it. So I went ahead and got a Traxxas uh, TR4 uh, micro servo to um, run with the shifter linkage. Uh, one thing I found with this stock um, RC four wheel drive one is it's uh, it's a leaker. Um, so we're just going to toss that aside. So in this process, I was scratching my head and trying to figure things out on how to get this mounted. There are some, I guess, 3D printed or aftermarket uh, servo mounts that will allow you to bridge a plate in between the two posts. Um, I didn't like that. I want to do something different. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, I'm going to remount this post a little closer in and that way I can get the micro servo um, steadied on the two posts, create my own shorter linkage and go from there. So to do that, you know, I got some fancy drill bits uh, to go through the metal plate. No big deal. I've got a um, uh, countersink bit uh, just to uh, help me out here and then of course I've just got a nice little cheap old King Canada drill press that I'm going to end up using for all this so I'll uh, stay tuned I'll be back and there we go mounted the micro servo tabs are a little bit short so I put it um, just some thin washers in behind just so it grabs grabs the tabs for mounting stable in place um, yeah now it's time I'm gonna take this little uh, horn here uh, modify it it'll be on the downward angle so I will end up shaving off the bottom two uh, mounting holes just leaving the top one in so that way I can clear the transfer case so now it's time to set the linkage up and uh, set my points and there we go, all done. Didn't take me that long. A um, little bit of uh, just adjustment to get this thing set in place properly. Maybe use a little bit of Loctite or just keep it free. I just don't want it to drop down and continue to rub on the uh, on the drive shaft here. Um, but uh, lots of clearance now between the transmission and the transfer case. Uh, I trimmed up that horn like I mentioned I was going to do. Um, I'm sure there's mods that other guys have done previous to this. Um, I may look at taking this servo and figuring something else to drop it actually down to the deck plate that it sits on and then have the horn facing up and modify this up just so there's more clearance. But for now, functions free and clear, no issues, endpoints are set, no tension, no grinding, no stress. All good, doesn't suck. <laughs>